Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Cadis Gaming. Welcome back to Mountain Blade Banner Lord. And it seems it's the end of the Kuzates Road here. They've come to their last castle. That is, if the Western Empire has successfully sieged their last city, which is just kind of right up the road here. Uh, we were going to go for that one, but they got to it first. They were going to try to take this one as well, but we got here first before their other army could, so we're going to try to claim it for our own. Well, we are going to claim it for our own. And in doing so, we're going to undo the Kuze faction, meaning they're not going to have a castle to call home anymore, guys. Whatever's left in military-wise for their leader and all their lords, they're just going to have to ride around and try to figure things out. So, thus being said, we've built, we've went all out, guys. We've got the battering ram, we've got the siege ramp, uh, we've got a couple of catapults, and we're just going to bombard the shit out of them. We have double the men going in. We shouldn't have any problems at all just in this last castle from them. And going ahead and turning and closing the chapter or the book, so to speak, on this war against the Kuzates. And yeah, let's auto deploy begin. I only have four or five of the lords with me. I have Teredos, which has about a buck fifty with him. I think we topped out at like almost 700 guys. So I'm just gonna park it right here because it's really this style <coughs> castle. Um, there's really nowhere to hide up there. You can hide under those roof things, but they're still gonna kind of hit your horse and everything. So I like to hide behind these. Wait for our battering ram to get close enough. Hopefully it will get destroyed. I didn't think about that, matter of fact. So maybe we'll keep a... closer... closer view on here. Here she comes. Hopefully, I won't get bashed myself with a uh, stone. I don't know what their siege capabilities are, but I would imagine they're all set up here using the barbers' castles. Looks like a nice one, too. <clears throat> I think it had 400 something men in it, so we should be we should be fine, guys. We have uh, quite a few sergeant crossbowmen, quite a few archers. Period. Like, gosh, got to be well over 100 in archers. Infantry, we're not lacking for sure, and cavalry, we're not lacking for sure. All right, we're just gonna kind of get a little closer until somebody starts tagging. I've seen an arrow just whiz by too. All right, we'll head over to here then. Just kind of chill under here for a minute. Let that uh, battering ram get up to the door. So it's cool that it hasn't gotten destroyed because uh, lately, guys, it just seems like I can't get one all the way up there. Just bombarding it with the stones and destroying it. I'd have to either retreat back out of the battle and rebuild it, or just try a different tactic. But I like going up the middle, for sure. Like, we have our, our siege ramp somewhere here getting pushed. I know it was built already. Let's see what end it's going to be on, though. Maybe that end over there. But regardless, we have our battering ram, and it's almost at the door. Now, this is the long one. It has to go up the hill and kind of turn the corner there. So we got our siege weapons going. There's one going still. Nice during this battle. Yeah. All right, so they're already boarding over there, so good. We're going to try to complement that effort with going up the middle here. They're just barely getting at the door now. Jeez. All right. Let's see if we can get away with just kind of, just kind of like monitor it, and then when it goes down, go in there and just to smash next to it. Just don't want these jerks to shoot me with arrows, which I don't see any of them in there, so just keep steady right here. We really haven't lost that many. Not bad. Not bad. 
Now we're just going to make a sniff of the difference when, once we start forward in here, guys. Well, it looks like we're doing pretty good on the side of all of the things. <clears throat> Almost there, one more ought to do it. Nice. Alright, I'll come in here and just have everybody take on this door. I like to divide it up, guys, because when you tell everybody to charge all at once or attack something all at once, they kind of get a little beat with it. So I don't want to get hit by a stone up here. I don't think anybody's in this section for some reason. I think they're all focused over there on the other side. Oh no, they're here. Never mind. Okay. We'll back off then. We'll let our men take this door down. Once they do, we should start dropping their meter significantly here. Since we're all starting to get packed in here. There we go. Alright, I'm personally going to somewhere where is a safe spot to kind of set up here all right it's, I can't see for that rail but I'm just gonna start tagging the back up in here just to give up men a chance to kind of push through ow hit me just hit me dude somebody's hitting me well. Arrow, I can't figure out where it's coming from, so... Alright, well, maybe we'll just try to bust through the line of the Sorry if it gets a little squimmy, guys, in the middle of the sieges. It's just it's a lot for the uh, CPU to have to render, so... I can get a little squimmy from time to time. I notice it myself as well. Once the battle chills out, everybody's not so close to it. Oh, you jerks. Every time I go to shoot one of your friends, you're up here shooting at me. Not too many arrows left, and I'm just taking hits and stuff. So we'll just use the sword. Should be. Yo, God. Okay. Oh man, that guy's going so slow it looked like. Alright, can I just, can I just, okay. Now, we get the archers, do we need to get the archers? I don't think so, I think we're starting to overwhelm them now, so I'm just going to let everybody do their thing. This guy do it. Oh, turn. Last minute, it's okay though, got him. Jump, jump it! Let's try it. Swimmy! Hermanette has went up a level, excellent, good. Just to let the men finish theirs off. There's many left here. This will be the end of the Kuzates as far as them having any control of their castle. So that was my whole plan. Seems that the Western Empire has grown to a monstrous size of faction themselves in participating and helping wiping out the Kuzates because they were at war with them. As well as so it was just our side and their side just bashing in on the Kuzates like for a good year, guys. Good game as far as its wars lasted. And they're just, they're gone. They're done. I'd like to track, like, Messi down, maybe a couple of the other lords uh, once uh, this battle's done, because we will finally offer them peace. They'll probably have to pay us some type of tribute or something, because we've just been mopping the floor with them, but we'll see. See how it all goes. Should be wrapping it up here. Come on, boys. Track those last couple bloody guys down. Seems everybody's just like moving a little slow though, are they? Like, I think they're in, uh, what is it called? Uh, shield wall, yeah. I swear they just walk so slow. 
All right, we're still pouring them in here, though. They're still pouring into the castle, and we're just tracking down the last few. There we go. We're starting to get some kills. Should pop up victory here in a second. Ah, yes, victory. Excellent. Minimal losses. It's just we overwhelm them so much once we just. That's why I like busting through the middle, especially. Just uh, so once you get through their initial shield wall, guys, you, you kind of pour around the sides. You can also manipulate your archers and everything. Um, do we want all those prisoners? I'd say no. We're gonna be good on that. I'll take the one war horse though. How we doing on food? Eh, we could use some if they have some. Which, no, not really. But that's okay. All right, excellent. I think this, I'm going to give this one to our late, our newest clan. We'll set them up here, a little pre-set up. <clears throat> okay, excellent. They're learning stuff, so that's good. Garrison... They have absolutely nobody in here. <laughs> Go ahead and top these guys all off real quick, though. There we go. And we'll throw just a few men in here, and we'll kind of just camp out for a minute while the election goes through on who's going to control it. And then uh, as soon as election starts, guys, uh, they'll start building up some militia and we can kind of walk away from it and let the Lord take care of business with it so that's kind of nice all right all right so let's give them a grouping of something there's five soldiers and there's five warriors you can also have these shock groups I don't know what I just gave them I'll give them elite there and those yeah we'll give them some I want to kind of keep some give them these recruits okay um some type of archery let's see yeah because we just have a butt ton of these guys so give them some of them and that's it they're gonna get 42 to start out with Here we go We'll let time just kind of tick for a second, and while we do that, you guys can just see that they're just, they're completely gone, and let's see, yeah, yes, the Western Empire did successfully siege their last city, so they are officially done, like, the Guse are officially done as far as, like, owning property, so they're going to have to make a push in some kind of effort to take it away from either us or the Western Empire, because we've pretty much surrounded them. Uh, sorry, I've been kind of quiet for a little while, and Valadia, we have not went up against them yet, and the rest of the factions are kind of too small. The conspiracy thing has started over again, it filled all the way up, and I think Batania wasn't ready, or the factions that are supposed to conspire against me weren't ready, so they're taking a round two at all that, so maybe in another in-game two years, um, I need to actually vote on that on so I want to give it to Kin Kinteg I think because he's our newest trying to build up a little bit of uh, likeness with them so that they won't fail on me and take property with them so where are they at now they're at six now let's let's get them up to seven Faven might be a little butthurt. He's actually good to go. He's still at 57 and still at 47, so we're good. I just don't want them to bail on me, is all. So they only have three members, but I, they have seven properties now. So that's all I can afford to give them now. And if they want to try to turn on me and take the properties, then they'll be facing some dire treasonous consequences. I would imagine. All right, so now we can we can officially break. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and break the army. Trados can you can play with all the army men now if you want. He he likes 
creating armies and just kind of walking around with them. Sometimes he sieges stuff, but just thought it was kind of funny. All right, so this will start building up in some militia now. So what are we close? What direction are we closer into getting home here? Hmm. You know, while we're in the very north, I forgot what faction has the best armor. I want to say it's either Batania or maybe it's Sturgia or Valadia. And we're kind of not close to either of those, so um, I think we're just going to head towards Seronia and uh, in that general direction. It's unfortunate that I can't track down Messi right now because we're at war with her and she just wouldn't let me catch her if I tried, probably. She usually doesn't, she can't keep a big enough army as I do and I'm just slower than her. So I'll have to wait for peace times to do that. Are we lagging out? Okay, it's just doing its normal hick -em up thing. Alright, but the conspiracy has started over. They're at 130 of 2,000. <laughs> okay. Uh, should we stuff it a Prilla? I'd say I'm good like I have some prisoners still but I can recruit them into my army it's a beautiful thing who are you I could get it on you actually and not Yurik hmm Yurik what are you up to let's let's go ahead and save it real quick I'd like to save it right before I'm about to pop quiz on a on a lord see if they want to join our faction because in case you ever want to just reload to try again, guys? <clears throat> he's going to go in there. I don't know if I can ask him while he's in here. Or I will find out. I think I've done that before. Let's go to the keep. He's the only one in here. Spy Among Us. Hey, I don't want to talk about that, though, sir. I would like to talk about recruiting you. Possibly. So we want. We would like to discuss something. You're, oh yes, we get a pop quizies. All right. I haven't gotten this. This whole. <laughs> I used to get this. Now it just doesn't give it to me <clears throat> ever anymore. Every once in a while, I'd get that double crit though on the 16%. Not not anymore so much. So we'll try. We'll try, guys. Try to fill all four meters with not getting that one. And that just took it back. So this conversation's over. All right. And that's why I recommend you also save, guys, right before you talk to these guys. Because you can, once you've failed, you can't talk to them again for quite a while. And if you've failed a lot with a lot of lords man you're just gonna you're gonna run out of options i don't know it's just it's a nice safe safety feature i'm not gonna try with them again uh, i'm just gonna let it go but uh i do recommend that though recommend that you save it before you before you talk to them all right so we'll head to seronia man i i, I can't believe how badly we handed it to the kuzates like, really, really bad. I had about half, I was chewing on half their faction, and then the Western Empire decided to go to war with them as well, guys. And they're, they're doing good. Ah, uh, Mantos, aren't you? If my memory serves me correct, I think Mantos might be a leader as well. Let's, let's see if we can catch him. Oh, let me catch ya. Don't get all the way there. Ah, it's fine. He's just gonna go to Umbrella, so. Boop, and back in Umbrella we go. Okay, let's go speak to him then. I think, I think, yes, I think he's a clan leader. Not sure what our rapport is with him. Well, we've never met him. After all this time, we've never met him. That's, we haven't went to war with the Western Empire. Maybe one little tissy way back when I I don't remember I don't recall us going to war with him though so we may have never crossed paths let's see what he thinks about Garios all right he is a faction leader we're gonna try this ooh we got it we got the double crit on that guys we got the double crit now if we can just manage nice 
one more circle in his hours with however much money he wants, but, oh, here we go, I think I'm going to try the middle one, guys, here we go, wish me luck, did not work out, I think we get one more question, though, yes, 60% chance, 38% chance, both are 13% chance that we're not going to get it, both are charm, we're built towards charm, I think I'm going to try charm, or try this one, and yes, in fact, we got him, guys. We got him. Now, if he doesn't want, like, a million dollars, I would be more than happy to take him you know, into my faction. So let's see how much it's going to cost us. Ooh, it's going to cost us all our money, guys. And then some. And then some, guys. He wants more than $1.48 million, and you can totally... Mantios, you can totally finish with your retirement because I am not going to pay that. I can't pay that set amount, and if I had $3 million, I still wouldn't pay it. It's ridiculous for one lord, and I mean, you're going to get his clan members too, but pfft, I'm good with that, man. A guy with that much rich taste, he's just going to get into our faction and kind of pissy all over anyways. I think those are the ones that are kind of whiny. They push towards certain policies so that they have a little more power, and yeah. Like, I had Farron or Fenton at one point from the Southern Empire, I believe, guys. And he was just, he was just always kind of tug-of-warring with me, you know? So, what, what have you? Mantius, not so much. I'm not going to take you, Mantius. He does like us a little bit now, though. We pop, we passed his pop quiz, so that's good for us. Fortunately, I cannot afford him. And I believe, guys, we'll leave this episode off right here. It's a good stopping point. Just wanted to show you guys the the end of the Kuzates with the last castle being sieged there. I wasn't sure if I was going to have to siege that one and then the one the Western Empire was trying to siege and maybe they would failed, but they, it looks like they pulled it off and they're doing quite well. And I would imagine with the Kuzade out of the way that that leaves no choice but for us to start going to war with them. So we might have a very long big war ahead of us here. Not so much worried about the conspiracy. I don't know when that's going to take place, if it even is. I remember once it working on me in one of the playthroughs I was doing. And three factions, no joke, uh, went to war with me all at once. I don't know if that was coincidence or it was part of the conspiracy, but that was crazy. <laughs> so hopefully that won't happen for a while. We can keep building up in strength. We're doing great. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a subscribe if you did. Feel free to leave comments about the game if you like. And uh, if you have any questions, definitely I'll do my best to my ability to answer them uh, as accurately as I possibly can. But with all that being said, hope you guys enjoyed it. And until next time, we'll see you later.